We good? We good there? We good here? We are. Hey everybody, and welcome back for some more wonderful Pokemon. Because I love Pokemon. Uh, I've, I've, I don't want to say I'm bored with opening booster boxes, but I'm certainly not in the mood to make an hour-long video today. And I really need an excuse to open these boxes because I need this card right here. This one. I need Lucario. I think the card has potential in uh, the current meta right now. There's a lot of Zoroark in play. Lucario is fighting. Zoroark is weak to fighting. For one energy card, you can knock out a Zoroark. I mean, there's really not much to complain about. Uh, I've heard some people say Lucario is sort of like your uh, your your discount Golisopod, and it's you know it's similar. Their their first attacks are very very similar. Uh, Golisopod's reusability definitely uh, sort of outweighs Lucario's, but with the weakness, it's, I don't know, it's a good deck, especially if you combine it with Zorak yourself, or uh, you can try Buzzwool or Lycanroc, you can go for it, but, um, yeah, so we've got four of these boxes today, in each one we have a Lucario, uh, and four packs, as well as a humongous Lucario card, which we will do nothing with, um, and then we're gonna have 16 packs total, so it's almost half of a booster box, and they're all different sets, so it should be interesting. For whatever reason, they put an Ancient Origins pack in there. I don't know why. They must have had some extras at their factories. I'm just like, let's get rid of this shit. Because you can't even play it anymore. You have to play Ancient Origins and expand it. So, whatever. I'm going to do the little fast thing when I uh, when I open all these boxes. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch that for five minutes. But, uh, yeah. Let's get these open. We'll sleeve up the cards and we'll open some packs. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So we've got our four Jumbo Lucarios. These are some big boys right there. We'll just keep these down here for now. Let's sleeve up our actual Lucario promos. I love these cards. They really are nice. And as of now, this is the only way to get them. Uh, and But I expect that to change, just like with Tapu Bulu, um, where, you know, we only were able to get it in a tin at first, and then it got... A little bit more extra treatment in the later set with some full arts and some hyper rares so here we go we've got these four big boys oh there goes my light again there we go more light we've got everything open let's zoom in a little bit here we go let's get our pack sorted here so we've got four different sets Again, I don't know why the Ancient Origins is here. Big Lucario's, I'm sorry, you gotta go. For now. So here we go. Should have four of each. A little bit of variety. Variety is always good. There we go. Boom. So we'll do Ancient Origins first. Then Crimson, then Burning, then Ultra Prism. Just because I think those are uh, the appropriate order for these cards. Alright guys, sorry if the camera angle and all that stuff is a little bit different now. I just had to reset some settings. Uh, and I also changed like the exposure and stuff, so hopefully it looks a little bit better. Still trying to figure out the best way to, to get this camera going. There we go. So we're going to start with Ancient Origins. We got ourselves a Wooper, Spinarak, Quagsire, Magikarp, Unknown, Faded Town, Whimsicott, Energy Recycler, Faded Town again, and a Vespaquin. Starting things off with the Vespaquin. There we go. We got our rare and our reverse hollow on the board. So Ancient Origins had all white codes. Ancient Origins did not partake in the white green code dang. I don't think that started until Breakthrough. We got a Combi, Oddish, Eevee, Gumi, Wooper, Sableye. Lys or Lysander, that card used to be worth some, some dough there. Var Ball toy and a clay doll. Look at that, you get the family together. These cards came out of this pack curved. The whole pack was curved. 
<laughs> That's why they're getting rid of them. <laughs> <coughs> no, well, there's the code for you. I have an Ancient Origins code. We have an Inke. Magikarp. Whooper. I just said Vooper. Gumi. Malamar. Eco Arm. Lucky Helmet. A Riados. Reverse Hollow Blossom and a Porygon Z Ancient Trait. What I like to call a Ghetto Fool Art. <laughs> we have a Hollow Rare finally. There we go. Last pack of Ancient Origins. Let's see if we can get something here. There's another code, if you can see it. Here's your code. We have a Malamar. Combi, Quagsire, Meowth, Spinarak, Bloom, Vaporeon, Paint Roller, Sceptile Spirit Link, and a Golurk. Ghetto Full Art. <laughs> Scoot my chair up a little bit here. Alright, we're going into Crimson Invasion. A little bit of Sun and Moon action here. Code? Oh, there. Code. Oh, shit, I got my pack trick all messed up. I don't remember if this is the right one. Oh, I think we're on to something. We have a Swinub. Swablu. Oh. Shelmet. Stuffle. Staryu. Mawile. Laron. Lusamine. There she is. The girl. Mammoth Swine. And a Houndoom. Houndoom is one of my favorite Pokemon, but unfortunately its card treatment isn't not very good. They don't they don't treat him with the respect that he deserves. Houndoom almost always sucks. <laughs> oh, oh. There you go. There's a code. Unfortunately, we know it's a green code, so let's just check it out real quick. Star you and a camera up. There we go. Nothing else super special there. That's okay. In the end, we still have our uh, our four Lucarios here. Ultimately, that's why I bought these boxes. The packs were sort of just like a little bonus. So if we pull anything out of these, I'm going to be pretty happy. 16 packs. Hopefully that means we've got a chance. Oh, I covered the code again. Oh, I still covered it. There you go. There's a code. We have a Fairy Energy. Which means nothing, of course. Slandit. Oh. Shelmet. Jingma. Oh. Staryu. Houndour. Zwellus. Devoured Field. Pile of Swine. Como. Oh. And a. What's another Mammoth Swine? Damn it. <laughs> we keep pulling these Mammoth Swines. There we go. Already pulled the energy. Alright. Last pack of Crimson Invasion. Oh green code, as is most packs from Crimson Invasion. Uh, let's see what we got. We have a Xerneas and a Cacturn. And that's it. Crimson Invasion is just not a very forgiving set. Most of the time your pulls are garbage, and so far our pulls have been garbage. So it's pretty consistent with what I would expect from most packs. We're moving on the Burning Shadows, however. There are some goodies in there. Damn it, I keep doing the... Exposing this as opposed to... Oh, that's... The, there. It's kind of hard to see the code if I don't show it to you. <laughs> but if we do go 16 packs without getting a single hit, I will be upset. I mean, that does suck. Panseer. Magikarp. Mudbray. Alolan Rattata. Panpour. Olivia. Kiawe. Rhydon. Zygarde Reverse. And a Lycanroc Regular Rare. So far, that's all we've been seeing. I would love to see a GX here. Maybe Ultra Prism will at least get us something. Oh, well, there's another green code. Nothing in this pack. You guys can have the code, though. Screw it. Got a Wimpod, Togedomaru, Sock, Mudbray, Oddish, Reverse Porygon, and an Alil Il 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 Electros. There's a super scoop up. We're actually going to need that for Lucario. Because 
I have bulked all of mine out, and I don't know where they are. I think I've got a couple of secret rare super scoop ups too that we could use. I think Lucario typically runs four super scoop ups because you want to be able to pull Lucario up. Another green code, Jesus Christ. You want to be able to pull Lucario up out of the playing field and evolve it again because its attack only does a ton of damage if it evolved this turn. So, um, the reason why Golisopod is more successful and more consistent than Lucario is because Golisopod just has to become active this turn. It can go back to your bench and just sit there until you're ready to attack with them again. And then, there you go. Lucario, you actually have to go through the process of um, picking it up or de de using a de-evolution spray. You have to do something. Holy crap. These cards are destroyed. Look at that. Probably can't see it very well, but the borders on these cards are all trashed. What the hell is happening? We have a Panpour. Pan Sage. It's two back-to-back -back monkeys. Esper. Sock. There won't my voice. Noibat. Simisage. Noctowl. Dusclops. We have a Reverse Hollow Riolu. And... Ooh! Very nice! We've got a Ho-Oh GX4. Ho-Oh is actually seeing a lot of play. You use Ho-Oh. And then you Kiawe turn one. You've got yourself a hell of a setup for your bench. You'd have four... You could basically... I mean, if, if and it happens pretty frequently. If you're able to hit a turn one Kiawe onto a Ho-Oh, turn two you're doing at max, you can knock out anything, especially if you have a Volcanion. You'll do 180 with a Choice Band 210. If you steam up, you hit 240. And I think the only Pokemon in the game that has HP higher than that are weak to fire. Like Decidueye. Here's an Ultra Prism code. Decidueye, Metagross, Solgaleo, they all have a weakness fire and there's not many people playing decidue anymore so <laughs> there's a salandit piplup more law magmar eevee lowland dub trio i love this card spiritomb magneton we have a reverse gardenia and a hollow drampaw what's up old man so i know in one of my most recent videos i was talking about playing uh ultra sun and ultra moon uh finally probably about i don't know three weeks ago that I started playing. Uh, I finally beat the main story um, a couple days ago. I am the champion now. And now I'm just going through and doing all the post-game stuff, you know, like uh, the, the rainbow rocket and uh, going through and trying to catch my Tapus and stuff. So I already caught Tapu Fini. Uh, I caught a couple of beasts. Or, uh, ultra Ooh, there's a Solgaleo Prism. What's up? And a Type Null. So I did catch a couple Ultra Beasts. Um, which is cool going through the, uh, the ultra wormhole and catching stuff is always fun. Um, just kind of a pain in the ass because, you know, your the ultra wormhole thing isn't very responsive to the, uh, to the motion sensors. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like half the time I don't really go where I want to. And another white code. Here's that for you. Ultra prism codes. Give you guys a little bit of money. Ultra prism codes are a little expensive right now. It could like 50 cents. I don't know. I could be wrong. We have Electabuzz. Oh, Turtwig. Stunky. Dewpider. Gibble. Floatzel. Electric Memory. Mars. Alolan Executor Longneck Daddy. And a Lucario Hollow. Welcome, boys. Welcome. Initially, we thought Lucario was going to be more valuable. Uh, and also more played. But it turns out at this point in time that Garchomp isn't that good of a deck um oh keep doing that oh shit here we go i think the biggest issue with garchomp is its typing uh once the fighting type garchomp comes out i think that deck will see more play uh just because you'll have such an advantage against zork players you won't even have to play cynthia to ko a zork you just have to have a choice band uh and you'll knock it out in one shot so we'll see. We'll see. I have hope for Garchomp because Garchomp decks historically have always been pretty fucking cool. We have a Reverse Hollow Andrew Mahone and a Dialga GX. Ending things on a good note. There we go. Almost all of the pools coming from Ultra Prism. 
We had four packs of Ultra Prism, just like everything else, and we got two pulls out of that, and one pull out of the other 15. 12 packs. There went my brain. But yeah, here we go. We've got our Lucario GX. Not this Lucario. We're not talking about that one. <laughs> We've got these guys here. This is the main prize. This is what we came here for. These guys right here. Can't wait to build the deck. Should be fun. Nice little purchase there. Got these on sale at GameStop for like 15 bucks a piece. The Lucarios go for about 10. So if you put it into that perspective, if I had just bought four of those, I would have spent $40. I bought four boxes and I spent 60. Got to open some packs and some other cool stuff out of it. So, you know, it's your guys' decision if you think that's a good value. I thought I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun. And I'll see you all next time, I guess. Peace, chicken grease. I love Pokemon. I'm out!